Viewer discretion is advised. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. My name is Joe Adrian and today we're going to be out here in Salt Lake City, Utah with the Volvo VNL 730 series truck, a default SCS truck. And the only reason I have this in the game today is because we are going to be showing off Kirchbaum's brand new engine sound set for 1.37's F mod compatibility. It is the first sound set available for F mod. That is like a mod basically. So I'm very excited to show you guys the engine sounds here. Let's go ahead and start up this truck. And let's go ahead and actually shut it down real quick. Just listen to that. Wait till you guys hear the Jake break and everything. New horn sounds as well too. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Got a 500 horsepower Cat 3406E engine in this bitch today. And I will have a link down to Kirchbaum's engine sounds in the description as well. It is on the SES website, or the SES forums basically. But as you guys see here, we're currently pulling for McLean um, Distribution Services. This is actually not the current scheme that they have on their trailers. It's probably in like an older one, because um, the one I see on the daily is a little bit different. That's what we're going to be showing off today here with the nice white Volvo. Here's a look at the interior of the Volvo. Very nice looking with a nice little blue interior here. Excuse me. And here's a look around. Very nice. Come Kind of come in the back over here, which is cool. A little opening there. I'm not sure what that is. All right. Let's go ahead and release the parking brake here. Put it into A2, I believe is A2. Yep, there it is. So I had the GPS working earlier. I'm not sh quite sure what happened, but we don't have the um, GPS in the cab anymore. So it's been a glitch of mine. It's been a glitch in my game for quite a while now. So I'm assuming it has something to do with the uh, Kenworth K100E thing that I threw in. I'm assuming it has something to do with that. So let's go and pull her out today nice and easy. But we're going to be hauling 32,738 pounds of frozen vegetables to the Walgreens in Moab. Utah so that would be really fun to do It'll be a little bit of a short trip today but not the worst thing in the world as we went on that gate to open up for us appreciate it guys thank you thank you thank you but yeah I actually tried recording this earlier with the uh, mouse and or not a mouse but with the steering wheel and pedals and for some reason um, it did not want to work for us I'm not sure why it just did not want to work for us so we're gonna have to basically deal with it with a uh, controller for today um, for some reason I don't know what was going on with it but I think we're good to go yeah we're good to go but yeah for some reason um, I wouldn't even like have my foot on the gas pedal and the uh, truck would just instantly start going like it would just start accelerating without even me touching anything and then anytime I would throw the truck in neutral it would just keep revving up like it wouldn't stay in neutral it just keep revving up on its own so I'm not quite sure I might have to try to mess around with some settings and stuff like that so but everything else seemed fine with it the pedals weren't inverted like they were before all that fun stuff so hopefully 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 soon but yeah one of the reasons why I decided to do a McLean's run is because my girlfriend's uncle actually works for McLean he's a driver for them so I kinda did this like little videos like a dedication to him and all the truck drivers out there that are actually trying to keep all like the store stock and everything. Today we're hauling frozen foods and whatnot. So, but yeah, last time we went to a grocery store, literally, the frozen food section was empty. Like I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it was empty along with all the other stuff in the store as well. Empty, empty, empty. So we're gonna be trying to haul some food to the Walgreens, try to get their uh, freezers and stuff filled up and everything like that, so they actually have some. And all that fun stuff. So we got an arrow here. Let's go ahead and go. Glad to be back in the Volvo. I uh, haven't actually driven a 730 in a long time. Or I don't think we ever have. And I think I've just stuck with the 780s and the 300s. So this might be the first time actually driving a uh, Volvo. 730 VNL. Unfortunately we don't actually have like a truck skin combo for this. For McLean. Um, it just came with the trailer. So... But uh, 45 mile, 45 mph half mile, okay. 
So we ended up just doing what I normally see because I usually see like McLean uh, trucks and everything like that. But if they don't actually have a McLean's truck, it's just going to be... Oh, no, we're not going here. It's just going to be like a white cab. Uh, I believe usually it's a Freightliner. But today we're just going to keep using it as a uh, Volvo. I don't know why. Just because. Just because. Uh, nope, we're not going that way. I almost hit that car. I bet that dude was probably getting scared shitless. There we go. Here we go. Alright, I'm not going to wait for these fuckers to... Uh, Merge. Little Coca-Cola truck right up there in front of us here. That's pretty cool. That is pretty, pretty cool. Let's go ahead and just merge over him. Nice. I love the red cab it's got with it too. That is awesome. That is freaking awesome. But yeah, guys. Hope you guys are having an awesome Tuesday so far. Hope you guys enjoyed the Resident Evil 3 Raccoon City demo that was uploaded yesterday. That was very fun to play. I love the Resident Evil series. And I'm really, I'm really surprised at myself that I did not finish the Resident Evil Biohazard 7 or whatever it was, the game that came out before this. I am surprised with myself that I did not actually finish that off in stream, so. Gonna be finishing that up here after we get done with the new Resident Evil 3 and stuff like that. So we'll kind of be going backwards a little bit, sadly. But that's alright. That is alright. But yeah, went with a little bit of a shorter trip today. Uh, we can only go a maximum of 65 miles an hour since it is an external contract um, run. So we'll be going 65 the entire way instead of the normal 70. But yeah, so we have been having a lot of problems going on the last couple weeks as well. So her car is actually just... I don't want to say fucked, but... It is... Not fucked, but it's fucked. <laughs> so she ended up trying to like replace her radio and stuff like that in her car. So this was this actually started back when we were still living with my dad back in like January I want to say. So she ended up replacing her radio with the from the default one that came with the car to a different one, and it worked until her battery died. So we had to give her a jump, and that's when the radio stopped working. So it was a few months after that she ended up getting a brand new radio. When all I told her was she needed a fuse. Well, she put a brand new radio in by herself this time. And stuff like that so you know when you're trying to replace like a stereo you have to like twist the wires and stuff like that so the new wires are compatible with your car and everything like that but um yeah so she ended up doing that but did not use electrical tape so all the wires were coming together and she was saying that it started sparking and smoking and stuff like that so yeah that was a fun time so now the whole dash doesn't work like her gas um, gas tank read here the speedometer none of that works the radio doesn't work. The key fob she has doesn't work either because of the anti-lock that it has on there. Here's listen to the Jake break for all you Jake break lovers out there. That sounds freaking fantastic. I do got to say so myself. Oh uh, yeah, we're going straight this way. Here we go. So there's a stoplight coming up ahead, so I want to be ready for that. That's a nice sound in Jake Break. That is a very nice sound in Jake Break for sure. Alright, but yeah, so her anti-lock on the... Because she had an anti-lock feature on the radio. So with the radio being off, that's currently not working. So her key fobs don't work. So we cannot access the car from the trunk. Or we can't access the trunk at all because the chip in the car doesn't work. And we tried making replacement keys. That didn't work either. So, um, we can't get in the, the car. We can't lock the doors or nothing because the car won't open. And stuff like that. So, it's been a fun time. And on top of that, she has a flat tire as well. So, it's been a fun time with that damn car. Hopefully, we're, we're trying to get that fixed yesterday. So, I'm hoping we can. I'm recording this on a uh, Sunday, so. But, yeah. So, I'm hoping... I am hoping. But yeah, among this whole like COVID-19 stuff, the city of Chicago actually closed the lakefront and like nearby parks because of it. The city is actually enforcing the stay-at-home law by making like uh, crowds of people disperse and everything like that. Stuff like that. The police are actually trying to disperse people as well, which I think is a little excessive. In my opinion, it's a little excessive. But... 
I'm not the mayor, so I can't do anything about it. But yeah, I've seen other PDs post on Twitter and stuff like that, like police department saying that they're not going to be pulling people over, they're not going to be dispersing people, but Chicago is, and stuff like that. So I feel like that's a little bit too excessive in my opinion, but I mean, like, if you want people to stay home so this thing can go away, I do understand that as well. But I gotta say, this is a very nice looking trailer. Simply the best way to do business. They got lights on for safety and all that fun stuff. So yeah, like I said, my girlfriend's uncle works for McLean, so... I want to do this as like a little dedication. Just listen to those engine sounds, man. They sound fantastic. I love the new engine sounds I threw in. These are some grade A engine sounds, man. Kirchbaum did an amazing job on these. We'll definitely have some more of these engines shown off in the next couple videos. So, so far, it's mainly the default SCS trucks. And then it's got a few different modded trucks in. Not too many modded trucks, but a few of them. So, we'll see what we got going on with that. And I found a whole bunch of different, like, trailer um, packs that are trailers different like trailer loads and stuff like that that we've got that we can use here soon as well so definitely stay tuned for that but we've actually used the Kenworth quite a bit so we're going to be kind of straying away from Kenworth for a few episodes as well as we've done GTA 5 for a long cup a whole bunch so you probably won't be seeing any more GTA 5 content until tomorrow or Thursday um, that's only because we've actually done GTA a lot last week and like I said I want to try doing some more variety and stuff like that so that's what that is for so we're gonna take a little break from GTA 5 and whatnot so that'd be kinda cool that'd be awesome little Walmart truck right there love those old Walmart skins I don't like the new ones I like the older ones a lot better looks like we're gonna be merging here put on the blinker there we go I love these new engine sounds I really do So it looks like we got to pull in for a vehicle inspection here at the way station. Kind of sucks, but oh well. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a test of the sound set there. She'll showcase of the sounds. We'll actually get another set test here once we start it up and everything. 71,411 pounds. Thank you for my cooperation. You're fucking welcome. Let's go ahead and test out the sounds here. They just sound so freaking good. Just such amazing sounds. Definitely going to be having this sound pack in for a while. I mean, the Jake break even sounds really good in game. So that's a plus. That is a definite plus. Oh. There we go. It's about 118 miles left to go in this journey. You guys probably saw that cop 
in front of us here that fucking cut us off over there. Fucking asshole. Didn't even use a blinker turning off. Motherfucking. Mm. I hate cops that abuse their power like that. I really do. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. Do make sure you hit the like button if you are. As well as hit that subscribe button with the bell icon. To make sure you guys know when I go live. If you guys want a definite, like, uh, notifications if to when I do post videos and stuff like that. Do make sure you guys join the Discord server. I have a bot that posts notifications every single time I upload a video. So do make sure you guys join that if you do want to uh, keep tabs on that as well. Why was this dude just randomly slowing down? Like, what the fuck? I don't know why that dude was just randomly slowing down. He didn't even have a blinker on. He was Oh, so he was going to take that. He didn't even have a fucking blinker on. God, I hate people like that. I really do. I really, really, really hate fucking truckers like that that don't give a shit. But I mean, hell, he didn't even have a blinker on. He was slowing down. How's I supposed to know what the hell he was doing? His brake lights were barely even working for the most part. So, yeah. But uh, one of the cool things that I wanted to talk about in this one is that I don't know if you guys eat at Chick-fil-A at all, but Chick-fil-A is probably one of my like all-time favorite restaurants. They're like fast food restaurants of all time. Sadly, they're not open on Sundays, but I understand why. But every time I go there, I'm seriously surprised with the service and the hospital hospitality that the Chick-fil-A workers have. Like, they are some of the nicest, kindest employees out there. Like, I feel bad if anybody ever gives a Chick-fil-A employee shit, because I have never met a Chick-fil-A employee that is rude. Ever. Like, especially if you go to McDonald's and stuff like that. Like, you know you'll catch attitude from some of them, from some of them but I've never experienced that at Chick-fil-A. Like, literally the line, since ours is brand new in uh, Champaign, the line could be wrapped around the parking lot for the drive through and you will get your food in less than, like, 5 to 10 minutes, between 5 to 10 minutes. Usually you will get your food in less than 10 minutes. Same thing with like the lines on the outside. Especially if you're like trying to dine in and stuff like that. Line could be out the door and you will be in there with your order and a table within 10 minutes. Which I think is crazy. Like it's literally crazy. Sometimes you'll even be sitting there at McDonald's. It'll just be like two, you and another person in front of you in line. And you'll sit there and wait for 10 minutes and it's just the two of you and this... At Chick-fil-A, you'll have a line out the damn door, and then you'll be at your table within 10 minutes. I'm like, oh my god, like that is freaking, now that's customer service at its finest right there, ladies and gentlemen, if I do have to say so myself. So we got about 77 miles left to go on Interstate, or Highway 191 here. I'm going to start slowing down on the Jake brake here, because I have a feeling that there's going to be something coming up, like a speed limit or something like that. But I ended up joining this new Discord server. Uh, I thought it was kind of funny because I was actually watching a video on like discontinued uh, Mountain Dew flavors that we missed and stuff like that. And supposedly there is a Dew Drinker Discord. So I ended up joining the damn thing and oh my god it is literally a Discord of people just like me that love Mountain Dew. I'm like oh my god this is heaven right here. Like, this is legitimately heaven. So I'm like, of course I have to join it, and then of course everyone's talking about like all their favorite flavors and stuff like that. People have already tried the new Frostbite from Walmart. I actually have not seen it yet at all. So I'm very excited about that, trying that and everything. But it looks like we're making a left over here onto an interstate. Interstate 70. That is Junction 70 right here. Alright. But yeah, I could not believe it. I thought it was freaking amazing. And I'm actually going to go ahead and stop here where there's some light for a thumbnail. Alright, never mind. It was too dark for a thumbnail over there. But it looks like it's going to be either a turn or something. Oh, nope. It's an actual just a curve. Tight curve. Very tight curve. And then I guess it's, yeah, it switches off. Oh, no. That's incoming. So keep right. There we go. All right. Cool, 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 cool. And another Mountain Dew uh, story that I actually found funny I read last week was that there is a couple in Kentucky 
that were at a, a Kroger, I believe. Or it was like Kroger, like one of the Kroger, like, um, uh, branded stores, basically. But supposedly they were throwing a fit over not being able to purchase 552 cans of Mountain Dew. And I know, I believe they were all like 24 packs of Mountain Dew. So they were actually throwing a fit with the cashier and the manager at Kroger about not being able to buy 552 cans of Mountain Dew. And I'm like, oh my god. Like, I could not believe that there's actually people that would sit there and do that. I mean, like, yeah, I love Mountain Dew myself, but I would not sit there and buy, like, a million cans of it for no reason. Because I don't need that. You better not go, dude. I'm gonna say, you better not fucking go. I'm gonna be behind a FedEx. Ooh, truck on its side. Oh, shit, he lost his trailer, man. Got a FedEx truck over here. XBO Logistics as well, coming in with a, uh, me. Let me just have an extra leash trailer right there. Very nice. Very, very nice. I just can't get over these engine sounds. I just I just can't. They are so freaking phenomenal. They are super, super good. I just can't get over them. What do we got over here? I can't tell. Navajo. wonder if they're going to be going to the Walgreens as well. I don't know. I don't see anybody, so I think we'll be good to go there. Alright. So, yeah, I don't know if you guys saw over there when we started getting out of the FedEx Depot where we picked up at, but I don't know if you guys noticed it, but I'll probably, like, show it off right here in the video, is that they were there were a shit ton of FedEx reefers. Yeah, there was a, like, a 48-footer reefer, and then two dub, like, 28-foot doubles. That were reefer trailers as well. So I was like, what in the world is going on here? Is FedEx like leasing reefers for this pandemic or something like that? Trying to get into like the frozen business or some shit like that? I was like, damn. Like I was not expecting FedEx to be one of those companies. But they had a shit ton of reefers. There was also a Home Depot reefer over there as well for some unknown reason. that I had no idea Home Depot even had them. I mean, I've seen them in game a lot, but I don't never actually seen one in real life. Looks like he's going to be heading to that grocery store chain down there or whatever that is. A little strip mall. So then we're going to be heading over here. And stuff like that. So, but Yeah guys, like I said, if you guys did enjoy the video, do make sure you hit the like button. As well as that subscribe button with the bell icon. Make sure you follow me on all the social media that I have listed down in the description below. And I will have a link to the trailer mod as well as the uh, sound pack in the description down below. Well, it looks like we're going to be heading to the LUT right here, I think. So here we are in good old Moab, Utah. Uh, not using the Coast to Coast, only because um, I couldn't find any frozen loads for the Coast to Coast. Just like empty pallets and all that shit. So I just didn't want to do anything like frozen pa empty pallets and a reefer. So I decided to just go back to the normal SCS dates and stuff like that. So a little bit of a short run today. But that is alright. We're going to start slowing down here because it is a 35. There we go. Alright, so I can't tell. I think we're actually going to be on the left side here. I can't tell. Yeah, I cannot tell. But there's an extra tra truck right there. There's a prime truck right there. Um, Yeah, we'll be on the left. Let's go ahead and get in the suicide lane here. I believe it's going to be, yep, this road right here. Alright. Wait for that car to go. Very night run today. I haven't actually done a night run in a long time. I've been trying to do more daytime runs. Empty, or a... Uh, uh, empty, not an empty trailer, but a... Uh, uh, empty skin. So a skinless trailer, basically. Non-branded, we'll call it that. So here we are coming into the Walgreens here in Moab, Utah. I believe it's this way right here. Yep. Alright, so let's see where they want the thing. I can barely see out of that mirror, but we have an RNL carrier with a yellow truck, which I thought was weird. Alright, so this is the delivery entrance here. Um probably gonna yep, go around back. Go and turn on them flashers. There we go. 
We got frozen food for them. And they want it right there. Okay, we can do that. Looks like they, they got a cardinal transport as well. Not sure what, never heard of them before. So they must be like leasing out other companies during this pandemic to keep their store stocked. Since I don't think Walgreens has their own like drivers and stuff like that. Up the curb here, don't want to hit that. Let's go in reverse. There we go. Back in A2. Get all the way to the left. There we go. Alright. Let's just go ahead and back this trailer in. Flashers are on. Perfect. Don't think you'll ever see McLean's pulling into a Walgreens ever. I don't think you'll ever see that in your lifetime. The only reason we're having that here today is because that's just American Truck Simulator for you. And then again, you'll probably never see half the shit that you get dropped off in American Truck Simulator. Like, I remember one time I was hauling a grain trailer, like an actual grain trailer, and it was having me drop it off at a uh, actual grocery store. I'm like, why would you drop off grain at an actual grocery store? I mean, I understand if it sells grain and stuff like that, but it shouldn't come off a truck just like that and then be sold. It should get, like, cleaned and processed and everything like that. It's like, what the hell? Nah, yeah, we're coming. We're good. We're good. I was like, that, that, that should not be a thing. But it was. It was, and I, I was kind of weirded out a little bit. And then we also had that food grade. When that food grade uh, thing be was a thing, the food grade trailer... Um, for the new SCS update and stuff like that. That was also being dropped off at a uh, grocery store. And I was like, what in the hell? Like, maybe it's just expired milk or something like that. I don't know. But I just thought it was kind of weird. Like, super weird. That that would be a load from a grocery store. But I mean, maybe it's not common. Maybe it is uncommon. I don't know. Alright, gonna straighten her up a little bit here. That kind of screwed up a little bit. There we go. Alright, let's put her in reverse. There we go. That should be good right there. Just keep on backing her through. They're happy with that. So are we. Let's go ahead and shut down the truck or put her in neutral. Set the parking brake. Shut her down. I love these engine sounds. I really do. Let's go ahead and unload. Synchronize it with the world of trucks. So 257 miles for 14 hours. 67.1 gallons of fuel. For an excellent of $12,585 and 572 XP. Alright guys. Well that's going to go ahead and do it for this one. Take care.